The two things you need to start this process are a computer with the accelerator quick set and also a USB serial communication cable. This is the SEL one. This is about 15 feet long. This works fine. Also, if you don't have this, a typical serial communication cable will work, but you do need a null modem. If you don't have the null modem, you won't be able to communicate. Additionally, you might want to use a cart or some type of magnetic tray because this process can take a few minutes. Before you start, visually inspect the relay. Make sure there are no error messages present and the green enabled LED light is on. The base screen is the screen that the relay will typically default to. If it's not in the base screen, you can hit the home button and touch the base screen icon. Once you're in the base screen, verify that the time and date are correct. Also verify that the site and the switch gear ID are correct. If any of these are incorrect, make a note of it. Touch the home icon. Go to device info, touch the status icon. Here you'll find all of the information on the device, including the serial number and the part number. These should both match what is on the back of the relay. Record these numbers. Touch home. To get the communications protocol, touch the settings icon. Go to port F, port F again. Click COM settings. Here you'll see a list of settings that pertain to the port F communications. Record the speed, this is 9600. That is the baud rate that you have to put into your computer when you go to connect. Record these other parameters, although a lot of these will be defaulted. Touch home. Connect the USB end of the serial cable to the laptop. To access the serial port, remove the two flathead screws and remove the cover. Be careful not to bump into the lock, close, or trip as this may activate the device that this relay is protecting. Connect the serial cable to port F on the relay. The first thing you need to do is create a folder on your desktop to save the relay files. To do that, right click, go to new and folder. Name this Amazon SEL Relays 2023. Go into the folder, create a new subfolder this should be named after the site that you are working at. This one will be ACY5. Open up the Accelerator Quick Set program. This is the first time you're opening this up. It might take a second or two to load. Notice down at the bottom the TXD and RXD lights are not illuminated and it also says disconnected right here. If you were connected to the relay, these lights would be flashing green and red back and forth and this would say connected. To go to your communications, you can click the communications icon. Here you'll find all the communication parameters that the computer is using to talk to the relay. Go to the device and select your COM port. If you don't know which COM port your computer is using, go down to the search screen down here and type in devices. Click device manager. Go down to ports. There's three ports listed. If you're not sure which one you're using, disconnect the USB serial cable but verify which ones are there right now. After you disconnect, the COM ports will reset. You'll notice 30 is not there anymore. Plug the USB serial cable back in, and now 30 pops up. This tells me that we're using COM port 30 for the serial communication. Next, verify that the data speed is correct. This should match the baud rate that you looked at on the front of the relay when you were in the port F settings. The data bit, stop bits, and parity, a lot of these will be defaulted to the correct settings, but always check and make sure that all of that's right. If all these parameters are correct, click OK. Once you hit OK, you'll start to see this is connecting. These lights started to illuminate, and now our connection down here says connected. To read the device settings, next go up and click read. In most cases, this screen will pop up and ask you which device ports and settings you'd like to read from. It defaults to all of these selected. You can leave them all selected for right now so that it grabs all of the information out of the relay. Once these are all clicked off, click OK. At this point, the computer is downloading the information out of the relay. This can take quite a bit of time, 5 to 10 minutes in some instances. You want to leave this alone. Don't touch any keys at this point. After the relay is finished downloading, you'll see this screen appear. To save the settings file, go up to File, click Save As. 
Here you'll see this screen. If this is a new site, you'll need to create a new settings folder for this. Click new. Open up the folder that you created earlier for the Amazon SEL Relays 2023. Here you'll see the site that we created, ACY5. Click that. Now you're going to make a new file called SEL settings files. Hit create. Down here, you'll name the settings file for the particular relay that you're connected to. This one was Switchgear MSB. To verify the settings file save, minimize the screen, and go back into the Amazon SEL folder. Click on the site and verify that you have both the settings file, which would be an RDB file, and the backup file created. Both of these files get created automatically after you save the settings file. Go back to the Accelerator Quick Set screen. To access the SER files, go up top to Tools and click HMI. The screen might take a few seconds to load. Once you're in the HMI screen, go over onto the left-hand side, double-click where it says SER. Down at the bottom, you'll see it has 1 to 30, and there are no SER events listed here. Change this number to 100, and click Update SER. Give this a second to load as it's pulling a ton of information from the relay. Scroll down and verify the amount of SER events. In this case, there are 100 listed here, which most likely means that there are more than 100. If you type in 100 down here and only 43 pop up, that means that there are only 43 SER events saved in that particular relay. When you're ready to save the file, come down here and click Save SER Data. It's gonna ask where you want to place this file. Go back to your desktop, go to Amazon SEL Relays 2023 under the file folder that we created for this site. Make a new file called SER Events. Open this. Here we're gonna call this Switchgear MSB. Click Save. To verify that these files have saved, pull up the file folder again for ACY5. Here you'll see SER Events, Switchgear MSB, double click that, and this is what the file folder should look like. Verify that all the events are in there. This screen can be closed, and you can go back into Accelerator. After you're done downloading the SER events, this window right here can be closed by clicking the X, and it'll take you back to the main screen. Once you're done downloading the settings files and the SER events, you can go back up top to Communications and click Disconnect. You'll notice down here that TXD and RXD illuminated quickly, and now we are disconnected from the relay. This time, you can close the program. Once you've disconnected from the relay via the laptop, you can go ahead and unplug the serial connector, verify once more that no alarms are present, and that the enabled green LED is on. After disconnecting from the relay, remember to reinstall the serial port cover.